What's going on guys, this is the Achievement Land Achievement Review for Bridge Constructor Stunts. Developed by Clockstone Studio and published by Head Up Games. This game released onto the Xbox One December 16th for a price of $9.99. There's only 10 achievements and it's a fairly easy completion. It takes about 8 to 10 hours or so. And uh, this one's for collecting 250 stars. You can actually just pick a level that has a lot of stars in it and just keep getting them over and over again if you want. This is the only achievement that uh, requires you to play through most of the game because there's like 28 bolts in the whole game so you need to collect 25. You gotta like kind of go out of your way to get them but they're not too bad and there's guides online on YouTube and stuff. Five flips with a pickup truck, pretty easy, you just gotta get the right level which uh, I'll show you that one. And then the rest of the achievements are like grinding ones, there's a couple other ones too but like 500 flips, you gotta just keep doing flips over and over again. This one is very easy. You just gotta wait till you get to the third part of the game and you can get both of these on the same level and I'll show you which level. Then the rest here are just grindy ones. There's actually one level that you can just keep doing for these all together. These last four all combined. You have to destroy red barrels, you have to destroy the pickup truck, and you have to cause destruction, and you have to get one hour of in-air time. The, that one takes the longest, so that's going to be your last achievement. So going through the levels here, this first area has nine levels. The rest of them, I think they all have six. So it's a pretty short game. There's only five different areas. The first area is really easy. It's just like an introduction to the game. So the levels there are very easy. But um, I'm going to post a walkthrough in the description that shows you how to go through all the games, shows you what to build. When you build it, it's just like a little trial and error. See, I got my uh, last uh, bolt there, so I didn't even have to play the last few levels. This one, uh, the area three, is where you want to get uh, all the miscellaneous achievements. There's like this level, we can do the frequent flyer. And this one's pretty good for the stars. There's a lot of stars here. You can even get the one where you uh, have to do five flips with the pickup truck. This is called the tow truck, but it's actually the pickup truck. You might have to build it up a little bit higher to get the five flips. I just missed it here. You can do that in 3-1 uh, too. That one's a little easier to do it in. So like I said, yeah, these are the easy levels. They're just like going through. You barely even have to build anything. Then as you go to the second one, it gets a little more complicated. You got these red areas that you can't build in. Sometimes you don't even have to worry about changing the build. It's just changing on how you drive because you build your bridges and then you have to drive through. Like there's times that my bridges will fall apart but as long as you drive correctly on it, you can still pull it off. Damn, if I would have went a little slower and jumped on that right, I would have been able to get the bolt as well. So don't worry if your uh, bridges are falling apart. As long as you can drive over them and get to the end, that's all that matters. Later on, you get different materials to use. First, you only get the wood. Then you get a... Uh, metal you can use and then you get wires as well the wires are pretty cool look at that whole thing fell apart <laughs> As long as you can get to the end, that's all that matters. Now there's uh, some of them that require points. Shouldn't even be an issue as you go through until you get to the end. Like this one. I didn't score enough points, so all you have to do, you don't even have to change your build at all. You just have to throw in some flips as you go. You can't drive backwards, it's all about momentum when you go backwards. So I gotta start that over. 
You can only drive straight and break. That's it. So I'll throw some flips in here. And there we go. That time I got the score. Alright, so for the other miscellaneous achievements, after you get all the bolts, you gotta do some grinding at the end. This level here is good to get a lot of the stuff. You have to break red barrels. There's a better level to do for red barrels, but you're gonna be doing other stuff, so you might as well just do all of them at the same time. And this level is pretty much the only one you can do all of them at the same time. So when you're jumping, you're getting frequent flyer because you're getting in air time. Then you can do flips as well. And also, you can land on the red barrels. And you can blow up your car. Your car doesn't always blow up, so you want to try to like land on the roof or the, the front of your car. Maybe like the front window, the roof. You hit there, your car usually blows up. Now this is the other one. I made uh, the ramp go up straight, like a little straight up, kind of. So it doesn't go across. And this one you want to do just four flips and you'll get the achievement. And also, if you jump high enough, you'll get seven seconds of air time. And you'll get two achievements at once. Then for this level as well, you can just keep doing the air time over and over again. Because you have to get one hour over air of air time. And this is a good level to keep getting seven seconds over and over again. So you just want to... You can pull open your uh, achievement tracker and watch it go up if you want. Just keep jumping over and over again. Getting in air time. And eventually you'll accumulate an over an hour. It takes a little bit. It's kind of a grind, but it's not too bad. And that's it. So overall, I uh, kind of enjoyed this game. Uh, I thought it was pretty fun. I got it pretty excited once I built the bridge and it was successful. <laughs> but uh, overall, it's an easy completion. Like I said, it doesn't take that long. It's just a little grindy at the end. But uh, thanks for watching. And if you want to see more achievement reviews, make sure you check out the YouTube and the website, achievementland.com.